Well, the Trinidad Tobago Warriors are expecting another stern test of their resolve when they battle Guyana in another friendly at the Adel Bolin Stadium on Tuesday evening from 7.30 p.m. Both teams are using the game in pretty much the same way as they rebuild for the future, hoping to give some young players valuable experience at the international level. TNT will be without playmaker Kevin Molino, who picked up a knock in Saturday's draw with Grenada and is replaced by Chadon Winchester, who rejoined the club last night after seeing action with his club in Mexico on Saturday. The head coach of the Guyana team finds himself in a relatively good position as several of his players have experience playing here in TNT and he expects to have good support as well. So, um, there's a large amount of Guyanese there, so there's a wide Guyanese community that we're hoping that can come out and make us feel as home. And with that, we, we think that we could overcome the hostility of the Trinidad fans who will come out and scream for them and, you know, rally behind the team when the chips is down, when the chips is going well, like we saw the other night, especially in the latter stage of the game, when they start to gain a, a momentum and the fight on to pull a magnificent draw. Well, this is a good situation for us to have players who have, has, have played in the Pro League, players who are playing currently in the Pro League. It gives an, um, a situation where some of the guys will understand the conditions and the players also who are based locally for Trinidad. So it would make an interesting um, situation for, for the match. Grenada stretched TNT on Saturday, but Dover isn't re reading too much into that result. And he still wants his troops to focus on creating their own positives as they look ahead to bigger and better things. But we're here to make a very competitive game and get a positive result. In our rebuilding process, a, a draw in this game would be a very good result. A win would be a magnificent result. And it would argue well for us going forward as we in the phase of rebuilding at this, at this stage. There is um, experience. There is some younger players who now coming into the squad. There's, there's going to be people who's making their debut tonight for Guyana. And that in itself is, will, will show that there is a situation where there's a mixture of experience and players who are now coming into the program. So we will try to make the best of it. And as I said, you know, we're in a phase of rebellion and we want to at least come away with a positive result, positive performance. And that would be a, a stepping stone for us as we prepare for the new year leading into the Caribbean Cup that helps to qualify you for the Gold Cup.